Returning now to the pandemic, a milestone moment in our fight against it. The CDC dropping indoor mask requirements for more than two thirds of the country. Here at home, more signs of progress. We continue to see some of our lowest case numbers since August. The state reporting 3,000 more cases over the last two days. That's about 1,500 a day. With numbers trending in the right direction, some local schools say they're still cautious about letting their guard down. Summit Action News reporter Simon Shaykat spoke with students and school officials about mask requirements in the classroom. As of February 23rd, Dearborn Public Schools have decided to make mask wearing optional, a decision the superintendent says was reached very carefully and prior to the CDC's most recent announcement. It's a major step by the CDC issuing updated guidance when it comes to mask wearing and COVID-19. The nation's foremost experts now saying roughly 70% of Americans should be able to remove masks indoors, including inside schools, despite some who still have concerns. I have my grandpa at home that I like to take care of, so when I'm outside, I feel safe. Inside, I choose to wear it but it's nice that they give you the choice. At one point, I do feel like things should start going back a little bit to normal. So I think that lifting the mandates was a good idea. And then also for the people who want to keep them on, keep them on. Students at Crestwood High School in Dearborn Heights say they support the move to make masks optional. The CDC is basing their recommendations on this chart, breaking up areas into low, medium or high risk with only high risk warranting masks. That means Metro Detroit counties like Wayne, Oakland and Macomb no longer call for masks indoors. We're constantly in communication with the health department. We have a high percentage of our um, staff that are um, vaccinated. Dr. Glenn Maleko is superintendent of Dearborn Public Schools. He says in this case, both the county and the state already dropped indoor mask requirements prior to the CDC and his district is also optional for masks, but they're still requiring them on buses. As for how many inside schools are still wearing masks. I would say right now I see about 50 50 depends on which school you're in. Um, but I am I am uh, pleased that there doesn't seem to be pressure one way or another. That's what the students are telling me in nearby Detroit. The Detroit Public Schools Community District still is requiring mask wearing. It tells us their policy could be reevaluated as early as the start of next week. Dr. Maleko says another great part of what they've seen here is that no matter whether or not someone wears a mask or not, They've always been respectful of each other's feelings. From Dearborn, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.